Right, um, today I think I'm going to strip the box that I got off one of my friends, which is a fully rebuilt box. It's a 125 box, what he says anyway. I don't know, I haven't actually checked the internals, checked it. But I know it's got a quaff diff in it, which is the reason why I got it. <clears throat> rebuilt box. It looks a bit scruffy because it was going to go in a rally car, so it didn't look, need to look nice. But it's got the cable shifting mechanism on this one and obviously going in the Mark V and you might not have the rods which is shit but I'm planning on converting to this one day as well as everything else I'm planning on doing it never happens I've got too much on van and car and the car and Kim's car and house and Whoop. okay but yeah so this box has got Quaife ATB in it. Main reason why I bought it. And then I'm going to strip it out of this case and today. It shouldn't take as long. I'm going to put it in this case and over here, which I stripped last night. I'll put the time lapse in. It only took us with fucking 10 minutes or so to strip the box. I've done that many now. That's compressor. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably split time lapse on this one. Top of casing's off, it's over there. As you've probably just seen in the video. The time lapse, that's what I'm up for. Um this recently rebuilt box doesn't look as nice as I expected. For one, look at all that. That's a stone. Um a bit of cleaning it should be Harry, but it's a good job that I didn't want to just run it straight away. I think if I look at the case and better than race one. Hmm. Yeah. I think I might have a word with uh, with my mate and tell him that the man that rebuilt this box might not be as thingy as he thinks. Because that's actually kind of scary. But it could have been rebuilt and sat in the shed for many moons. It does look nice and clean in there, mind that side. Oh well, strip it apart and give it a good clean, make sure everything is nice and working and I guess we'll throw it in the uh, in the powder coated 1.3 case and got the diff out. Casing's there. Mingham. Full of mud and stuff. So I made a message asked when it was rebuilt. But uh, so yeah there's the quaff and no one can even question if it is a quaif because it has quaif written on it somewhere yeah it is there it's just fucking it's hard to see quaif even though it won't focus because it's just a phone camera but if someone wanted to argue with me it wasn't a quaif it's definitely a quaif see quaif um, but I'm not going to run the bearings. The bearings are nailed, rusty, pitted. So I'm going to pull the bearings off one of my old diffs, which is a crap open diff. Uh, it's original 1.3 diff. Pull the bearings off that. Plus, I only didn't realise now is I needed to pull this bearing off anyway because I need to put the speedo drive on. 
because they're on a speeder because you need to know his speed when you're doing road rallies and stuff and sticking to the speed limits good advice for sticking to speed limits and not going over them stay safe kids Put a gear set in, this all in, gear set's in. I've locked it in reverse because that's the easiest way if I want to keep everything in line. Uh, so now I just need to, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use I'll put it, some of this stuff, rock gasket maker. Not too much, so it's blue just dead everywhere. Just a little bit, otherwise it'll weep. The old box I got in at the minute, the box I've currently got built. Um, which is a one seven gear set with a one seven final drive RS to series two RS turbo uh, limits of diff, but with a one point six final drive, not final drive, uh, one point six fifth gear. That makes it run much nicer at uh, motorway cruising speeds. But for what I do, I don't need it. And it was a nightmare when I was doing the road rally. Road rallies because you'll be running in fourth, and then there was a, such a big difference between the two gears, fourth and fifth. You, well, my leg was sore from changing up and down the gears by the end of the night. But it is nice for running on motorways if you ever want to do it. Right. Well, last night I was gonna sort the box hood. Lovely. Um. But I looked at the clock and I was hungry and was tired. I need a shower. I went, nah, I'm going in. Put the encasing on, new gasket in, bit of sealer. Um, yeah, some people don't use sealer, but I've had experience with where it leaks badly. One of my other boxes, the one that's in at the minute, I built it just before I went Anglesey, and like literally the day before I went Anglesey, put it in the car, filled it full of oil, and it was leaking from there. Uh, test drove it and there was just puddle of oil underneath it but I didn't have time to strip it and fix it so I ended up trying to clag a load of stuff on and then when we got to Anglesey wrapped a t-shirt around it me, Rob and Trev and Tom uh, wrapped a t-shirt around it and wrapped it in duct tape to stop the oil getting on the track but, yeah, I'll clean these wood with the sealer stops the oil getting stopped as which do you think? Um, that's just buzzed off, so it doesn't have any interference with with the uh, gear set, fifth gear, with the powder coat. And this box is done time anyway, so I know it's not going to flake off or cause any problems. Fifth gear in. Little tip for if you ever attempt one of these on your own, um, found to hold the rod in the right place so you can locate the roll pin in. Because as you can see, the roll pin is pretty much in line with that with the slot for the screwdriver to line it up. Um, best way I found to do it is get it locked into where fifth should be, which is I can't. I'll, I'll, fit, I'll tell you later on using that up and backwards I think if I remember rightly might be forwards one of the two um, and then it'll hold that in place otherwise when you build it back together that can disappear off in the wrong place and then you end up got to strip the box again or spend a few good few minutes trying to wiggle it and getting it in the right place best way I found but 
Oh well, in case none, and then this box is done. Woo! Tea time! <laughs>